Hi, welcome to another episode of Koinonia. I'm Andy. And I'm Jonathan. And we're going to be talking about why don't young adults give to Christian organizations. So the ECFA, uh, which stands for the Evangelical Council of Financial Accountability, did a survey of 16,500 Christian young adult do donors on why young adults, millennials, give to charities. And so these were the five reasons. The first reason, it makes them feel good. Makes sense. Makes sense, right? It I want to feel good about my gift. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Second reason, the organization is honest. Important. Super important. Yeah. Um, I want to make sure my money is going where it's, where it's supposed to go. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Third reason, they can get involved in the organization. Well, that's interesting. They want to be able to be involved. Part. Part of it. Of it. Not yeah. only giving money, but they're hands-on. Yeah. They want to be part of it. Beautiful. I love it. Uh, fourth reason, the organization helps meet physical and social needs. So yeah. this is kind of obvious, right? I mean, uh, well, we... We care about our community. Yeah. We want to make sure that people who are suffering can find a little bit of help. Yeah. And and we want to be part of that. We want to help. We believe as as young adults, we believe we can change the world. All make sense. These reasons yeah. all make sense to me. I love them. Uh, I, I'm reading them and I'm like, yes, 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 yes. Fifth reason. It's not Christian. <laughs> These are. Chris, they didn't they didn't survey just general millennials, general young adults. They were surveying Christian young adults and they discovered that they were that Christian young adults were more likely to give to secular organizations than to their church or to Christian organizations. So I mean it begs the question why? Why is that, John? I mean, you know, it's what do you a, think? it's a good question because theoretically any church can meet all of these criteria, except for the not being Christian part, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean by definition, churches are Christian. But, yeah. but other than that fifth criterion, young uh, 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 a church can meet all of that. You can feel good about giving to a church or a Christian uh, charity or organization. You can you can make sure that a church is honest. Yeah. If you're part of a church that you don't think is honest, why are you in that church? Ooh. First of all, I mean, we gotta, you got to keep that in mind. Switch churches. Find a church that's honest, <laughs> yeah. right? Um, uh, you can get involved in a church. That's That should be simple enough. Yeah. You, I mean... Actually, um, a church is the place to get, to involved. get involved, right? Yeah. I mean, if any And churches place... are looking for people who want to get involved. So you can get involved in a church and there are churches who help meet physical and social needs yeah right i mean yes churches are exist for other reasons bringing people to jesus but there are many churches that are in, in their communities and and making a real difference in lives of people mm. be that feeding the homeless mm. or or any other type of 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 um charity work so to me any church can fit these criteria, so why why don't young adults give? And I think the reason lies in why an organization is doing what it's doing, particularly as it relates to to meeting physical and social needs. And 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 here's the thing: most Christians, when they do community work you know they're feeding the homeless or or they're they're ministering to rape victims or, or anything that can happen in our community many christians have on the back of their mind that they're doing it because ultimately they want them to meet jesus Ooh. and they want them to convert to christianity Oof. now helping people meet jesus and converting to christianity is not a bad thing but yeah. When people feel like the only reason you care about them and the only reason you're giving them food when they're hungry or any of these other charity works, when the only reason is because you have an ulterior motive that you want them to convert, that kind of messes. Why can't we just, as Christians, why can't we just meet needs 
simply because there's a need to be met. Isn't that what love is? Isn't that what Jesus taught us? You know, when Jesus, he, you know, uh, healed the sick and, and, and made the, the lame walk and the blind see, he was healing them because they needed to be healed. Well, I think for us it's really hard because we're, we're wasting these resources we mm-hmm. have and then we get no return. Or we have no, uh, you know, the, it just it just doesn't make sense. It, it, it kind of feels, I, I know that's so selfish, but it's like, uh, where's, where's the thermometer? Where's the measurement of if I'm going to give this much, how much am I going to get back? See, I think the return, the return is not so much, hey, did they convert to Christianity? I think the return is that when I do some of these things and I get involved in meeting people's physical and social needs and helping alleviate some human suffering, I think the return for a Christian should be, you know what? I took a little bit of heaven and I brought it down to earth. Yeah. I let that person see a glimpse of the kingdom of God. And to me, that's the most amazing return on an investment. And when churches, I believe, when churches begin to, to, to show up in their communities simply and only for the reason to just alleviate human suffering because it is a human being that is suffering. I think millennials and young adults will start giving and I think they'll start seeing that there's meaning in giving to a Christian organization. Hey, but that's what we think. What do you think? If you found something very important uh, you want to comment on, you have the drop box below go ahead and comment give us your thoughts we want to hear from you and if you really like us and you want to continue following us subscribe and so we look forward to seeing you next time in koinonia